So I'm in Spectra's processor. Uh, Spectra's processor is where you will load your data. So I'm going to select my experiments here. I have four experiments and a structure. I'm going to select it from File Explorer. I'm going to drag and drop it into the Projects panel. This will import the data, uh, check alignment, and it will also check for any solvents and, and identify that for you automatically. It also attach the 1D NMR experiments to the 2D. So let's have a look. We have our structure. Um, by the way, the name of the folder comes from the name of the folder, the top level folder for that. So that's done automatically. So you don't have to rename it if you uh, want to save some time there. So we have our proton NMR. We have our structure attached. We have our solvent identified. We have an HMQC in this case. We have an HMBC. And we have a carbon NMR. And you can see in the 2D, we have our 1D uh, attached to the 2D axis. So when your data is loaded, you can click Auto Assignment, which is this green check mark here. This will peak pick, integrate, multiple analysis, uh, peak pick across all the experiments, and report back a match factor. The match factor is a value between 0 and 1. The closer to 1, the more consistent the data is with the proposed structure. So here we have a match factor of 0 0.92. We also have a table that supports, uh, all, summarizes all the assignments and the peak picking. And from here you can create a report. I'm going to click the report button here. This will create a report in ChemSketch. And in here is a multi-page report. We have our structure with our HMBC correlation arrows on, done automatically for us. We have our date. We have our table summarizing all our data. And we have more than one page here. Here says page one of eight, so we can flip through the different pages. We have a, the ex extension of the table here. And we have our proton NMR here. So here we have our metadata, our structure, our multiplets done in journal format, done for us. We have our proton NMR uh, spectrum. We can create an inset using this button here. I'm going to highlight the region I want to create an inset for and expand it out. And so we have our inset and our uh, full spectrum in the uh, report. And we have some other data. We have our carbon NMR, our HMQC. We have our assignments from our HMQC here and our HMBC also. From here, you can create a PDF if you want. There's a PDF button. And I have a PDF already done here. And you could see that the same report, exactly as you see it in ChemSketch, is exported to a PDF format. So just to summarize what I did here, we loaded a set of four experiments and a structure. We pushed the auto assignment button. This did peak picking, integrals, uh, analysis across, and assignment, reported back a match factor, and we created a report with this button. Why did we do this? Well, this is the fastest way to process your data, to go through four experiments. If you have more experiments, you can also include those and create a report.